It's another beautiful day at Lake Mead. Join us while we dive intake number one right outside of Boulder Harbor. I'm Russ from Mission Scuba, and welcome back. And today I'm out here at Lake Mead with my diver friend, Cody. Cody, how you doing? Doing well. And Cody is a pretty seasoned cave diver, and we dove out here once before, but today he's taken me out to intake, intake dive? Intake tunnel. Yep, intake. In, intake number one. Intake number one. And uh, it's actually something I've never done before, so I'm super excited about that. And it's July out here, and it's getting hot. It's about eight in the morning, and it's already probably 95, so it's getting sweaty quick. But uh, I'll let Cody here talk a little bit about what we're doing. But basically, we're going to scooter over to intake number one. Cody, tell us a little bit about what we're doing. Yep, correct. So it's just a long dive DPV, um, averaging 30 feet or so. Uh, we're going to scooter, I believe it's north, uh, over to the intake number one. We'll poke around, end up around 100 foot or so, and then follow the shoreline back, exploring whatever interesting crevices and geological features we can find. That's pretty awesome. So I was looking at it on Google Earth and it looks like it's about three quarters of a mile. Does that sound about right? Uh, that right? Yeah, that sounds about right. I think the total distance there and back ends up around close to two miles. Wow. Well, I'm excited. It'll be fun to follow Cody. Anyway, that's about it. we got our tanks in the water. We're going to suit up and let's go for it. We'll talk to you when we get back.
Back from the dive. That was awesome. And did you? That was awesome. Thank you for taking me. Fantastic. What did you think of that boat that was down there? That was pretty amazing. <laughs> so Cody found a boat last time, and this time we went to go look at it, and we brushed off the tag on the side and looked at the paint job on it and everything. And what year was that? 2019. 2019. And there was a bunch of rocks in the boat, so I think someone ditched it on purpose because there wasn't like a key in the ignition, and there wasn't any stuff in the boat. Some of the seats were already gone, so I think someone ditched it, but. You never know. But Cody flipped his scooter around and was blowing all the stuff <laughs> off the hood of the boat. That was pretty great. Nice hot rod orange paint job. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty awesome. So the intakes were great. First time there, really loved it. Man, those I didn't realize the pipes or whatever they are, those intake tubes were so gigantic. I mean, those things were massive. I got some video of Cody going in there and everything, so it was pretty great. What were all those sandbag things down there? I think, uh, do you know what, know what I'm talking about? Those I do. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what they're originally for. My suspicion is that it was probably to weight down the buoys, the markers, to indicate the safe zone for boats, uh, for vessels. I, got it. I didn't know if there's something permanent or not. So it looks like in lieu of concrete blocks, they just put these huge bags of sand down there. So I'm not getting out of there with a lift bag. Yeah, it was pretty great though. Loved it. The water was super warm. Even at the bottom, it was in the 60s, so it wasn't super cold. And it was great. Visibility was pretty good for this time of year. I mean, it's July and usually it's blown out in this area. So I don't know if it's because of all the extra water coming down from Powell, all the fresh melted snow or what, but man, visibility was pretty good. I loved it. Day's gotten kind of kind of rough, so we're gonna pack it in. Anyway, Cody, thanks for diving and showing me that place. It was Thank awesome. You. Thanks for joining. And everybody's, if you like these videos, you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe down at the bottom. I appreciate it. Join the Mission Scuba family and most of all, Dive safe.